This is the question asked in today's skill rack daily challenge. So in the first line of our input, we are given the value of integer n. So here n is equal to 11. So we have to print the first 11 terms in the Fibonacci series as given. So we have to do some modifications in the way we are calculating the Fibonacci series. So let us do it. So in the Fibonacci series, the first term will always be 0 and the second term will always be 1. So this is the starting for Fibonacci series. Every next term in the series will be nothing but the sum of its previous two terms. So suppose now if you are going to calculate the third term in the series, it will be nothing but the sum of its previous two terms. So the previous two terms are nothing but 0 and 1. So 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. So that will be the third term. So this is how we will be calculating Fibonacci series. But in this question, we are given that we should not add the previous two terms directly. We should reverse the previous two terms and we should add that reversed value. So that will be the third value. So here let us reverse the values. So after reversing 0, it will still remain 0. And after reversing 1, it will still remain 1. So 0 plus 1 is 1. Since it is one digit number, we are getting the same value as per the normal Fibonacci series. And now if we want to calculate the fourth term, again we should reverse 1 and 1, still it will remain same. So it will be 2. And the fifth term will be nothing but the reverse of 1 and reverse of 2. So again it will be same, so 2 plus 1 is 3. And then the sixth term will be nothing but the reverse of 2 and reverse of 3. And both are one digit numbers, so still they will be same, so 5. And then the seventh term will be reverse of 3 plus reverse of 5. So it will be 8. So, and then the 8th term will be reverse of 5 and reverse of 8. Again, both are one digit numbers. So, it will be 8 plus 5, 13. And now the 9th term. So, the 9th term will be the reverse of 8 plus reverse of 13. So, here we have got a two digit number. Till now, all were one digit number. So, even after reversing, the numbers were same. But now, after reversing 8, it will remain as such. But when we reverse 13, it will become 31 so the ninth term in the series will be 31 plus 8 so 31 plus 8 because after reversing 13 it has become 31 and after reversing 8 it will still remain 8 so 31 plus 8 will be the ninth term so the value is nothing but 39 so this is our ninth term and now the tenth term will be reverse of 13 plus reverse of 39 so both are two digit numbers so we have to reverse and add them so after reversing 39 it will become 93 and after reversing 13 it becomes 31 so 93 plus 31 will be our 10th term so now if we add both of these values the value which we get is 124 so that will be our 10th term in this Fibonacci series and now the last term so the 11th term will be reverse of 124 plus reverse of 39 so 421 plus 93 so when we add both of these values we get 514 so that will be the 11th term in this Fibonacci series so this is how we are getting our output Fibonacci series pattern so our expected output is also same now let us see how to write a C program for this so first I am creating a new integer n and in the next line I am accepting the value of the integer n using a scanf statement and then I am creating three long variables named first, second and next. So here we are creating long variables because when the value of n becomes larger the integers in our output pattern will be large. So that is why we create long variable and initially I am setting first is equal to 0 and second is equal to 1. So these are the first two values in our Fibonacci series pattern and we will be using this next variable to calculate the next term. So now let us see our logic as per the condition given. So we have to print the first n terms in the Fibonacci series. So we have to print n values. So I am creating a for loop that iterates for n times and in every iteration we have a print statement. So totally we will be printing 11 integers. And in the printf statement, we are using %ld because we are dealing with long numbers. 
so in every iteration we will be printing the value stored in the variable named first so after printing now we have to find the next value in the fibonacci series so the next value will be nothing but the sum of its previous two so currently the previous two are nothing but the first and second term so we have to reverse the first and we also have to reverse the second and we have to add those reversed value so that will be our next term so here i have defined the function named reverse so this function reverse is of return type long and it accepts a long integer in its arguments so this function is expected to return the reversed value of the long variable n so if we give 512 as input then it should return 215 as output so here we have to implement the logic for that so to reverse a number what we have to do is first we have to create a temporary variable and assign it as 0 and then we have to create a while loop that iterates until n becomes equal to 0 and in every iteration we will be dividing n by 10 and also simultaneously we have to multiply the temp variable with 10 and we have to add it with the current unit digit of the integer n so when we keep on doing this at one point the value of the variable n becomes equal to 0 so when n becomes equal to 0 the complete integer would have been reversed and stored in the variable temp so finally we have to return that temporary variable so that will be the reversed value of the long variable n so the temporary must also be a long variable so this is how we will be defining reverse so now let us go back to our main function so we will reverse both first and second and we will store that value in the variable next so now we have found the next value so now we have to update the values of the variable first and second only then we will be able to calculate the fourth term in this series so the fourth term will be nothing but the sum of third term and second term so the third term is next and the second term is second so the second term must be now considered as first so i'm setting first is equal to second and the third term that is the next must be considered as second so i'm setting second is equal to next so now we are considering the third term as next and the second term as first so when we add both of these values we get the fourth term so in the next iteration of this loop the value stored in the variable next will be the fourth term and again we have to calculate the fifth term so again we will be updating the values of first and second so automatically we will be calculating the next next terms in the fibonacci series so this is how we will be calculating the first n terms as per the conditions given in the question so we are also reversing it so this is the logic to solve today's daily challenge thank you for watching